In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the 11 rack number two communication error here in Pro Tools 11 or Pro Tools 12. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First, we'll say, would you like to reconnect? We might as well hit no, because yes, we'll just have the same error come up. So we'll hit no. Now we can come up here to setup. This is sort of a quick fix. Come up here to setup, MIDI, MIDI input devices. And you'll notice in here we have 11 rack and then external. Then we have two 11 rack emulated and then two external emulated. These you need to uncheck. Okay, that'll be sort of the quick fix. Once you do that, you will, you will no longer have the error popping up. Okay, but that doesn't actually fix the problem. To really see the problem, we need to head into control panel. If you don't have control panel pinned, just type in control panel and open it up. Then we'll come here to device manager. And then we'll come down to sound, video, and game controllers. Span this. Now you say, well, I'll have it 11 rack. That looks fine. If you right click it and go to properties, it's working properly. So what's the problem? Well, there's a little trick here. Come up here to view and show hidden devices. Now, when we look at it, it's much different. Now we can see we have two Avid 11 racks, but we only have one 11 rack. And we can actually right click this one and go to properties and say, well, it's currently uh, not connected. So obviously, because we only have one Avid 11 rack. So why is this happening? Now, this is the issue of why it happens. And I've seen it happen a couple of ways. Issue number one is you load up the 11 rack driver, you connect your 11 rack and turn it on, open up Pro Tools, everything's fine. At some point in the future, you disconnect your 11 rack and take it somewhere else, or maybe you just disconnect it from the computer because you need to free up a USB port for something else. Then later on, you plug it into a different USB port and turn on your 11 rack. Well, now that USB port is being associated with the Avid 11 rack driver, but it still has the association with the previous 11 rack port. Okay, and when Pro Tools 11 or 12 opens up, it's not filtering out the disconnected port. It's still seeing this driver here instead of only seeing this one. Now, Pro Tools 10 does not have this problem, so I'm not sure what changed between 11 and 12, you know, other than, of course, the advancement 64 bit and, and things like that. But the way it filters out the devices, in my opinion, it should be fixed. But I'm just telling you why this is happening or one reason why it can happen is because you initially plugged it into one USB port and then at another point, you plugged in your 11 rack to a different USB port. That will cause the issue. And another way I've seen this happen is say you have your 11 rack driver installed and then a new version comes out or something, right? And then you go ahead and, and install that one. Well, again, this is sort of a problem with the driver. It doesn't completely uninstall itself from the device manager. If you pop into programs and features, you'll probably only see one Avid 11 rack entry. But even if you're plugged into the same USB port, more than likely you're going to end up with doubled 11 rack entries here in Device Manager. Okay, so that's two possible explanations for why you get the 11 rack number two error. So now let's move on to how to fix it so it never happens again. All right, so one more time, we'll come here to MIDI and uh, MIDI input devices. And just take a look at that. All right, now we're going to close Pro Tools. And we'll go ahead and close our 11 rack editor as well. And now we need to turn off our 11 rack. After you have turned off your 11 rack, come to control panel. And now we need to uninstall the Avid 11 rack driver. So we'll go to programs and features. There are of course other ways we can do this, but we'll go to programs and features, locate the Avid 11 rack driver and uninstall it. If this window comes up, just click okay. And now the 11 rack driver is uninstalled or is it? Come back here to control panel, open up our device manager, and we'll scroll down to our sound video and game controllers. We're not seeing it here, but make sure we show hidden devices. And now look at that. Even though we uninstalled the driver, we still have two entries showing that are not connected. So if we, if we install the driver again now, we're going to end up with three entries. Okay, do you see how this works? It doesn't install correctly. Something is wrong with the way uh, it was written. That's that's all I'm going to say. So now to clean this up, we're going to have to clean this up ourselves. We'll right click on the Avid 11 rack. Okay, and just click uninstall here. So even though we uninstalled it from programs and features, we have to do it from within device manager as well to get rid of that association with our USB ports. Again, make sure show hidden devices is on there. So we'll do it to the next one. If you have more uh, you know, do it to all of them. Right click, uninstall. Okay. 
So after we have right click and uninstalled those entries here in sound video and game controllers, again, make sure show hidden devices is on. Come down to universal serial bus controllers, expand that, and we have entries in here as well. So guess what we're gonna do? Right click, uninstall. And we'll come back down and do it to the next one and uninstall. All right, so we should be clear here and here. Okay, now we're good. So now we need to restart our computer and leave your 11 rack off. Do not turn it on. So go ahead and restart your computer. Okay, so now we have restarted our computer. Our 11 rack is still turned off. Okay, and if we want to check here, we can come back to control panel and device manager come up here to view and show hidden devices and just make sure everything is cleared out which it is all right so now we're good now we need to install the 11 rack driver again leave the 11 rack off do not turn it on it can be plugged in but just don't turn it on so if you have not downloaded those drivers just go to avid.com slash drivers come to 11 rack and then download the driver that you need for windows this is specific to windows okay so after we have downloaded that driver and unzipped it we'll come in here and we will install the 11 rack driver and then we'll just go through our prompts here and install this okay so now the 11 rack driver is installed but do not turn on your 11 rack yet now we need to go ahead and restart one more time Okay, so now we have restarted again. And real quick, we'll just come back to control panel and right there, Avid 11 rack, we have that. And if we check device manager, view, show hidden devices, you'll see nothing has been assigned to a USB port yet, okay? So now that we've restarted, our driver's installed. Now go ahead and plug your 11 rack into your computer if it's not already plugged in and then power it on. Now choose a USB port that you are going to continually use one that will never change because if you change ports you'll have to go through this all over again so choose a port and remember it label it if you have to always plug the 11 rack into that port so once you have it plugged in go ahead and power on your 11 rack all right so now our computer is recognizing our 11 rack so now we can come back to control panel device manager and there it is Avid 11 rack view show hidden devices we only have one awesome that's exactly what we want we only have one entry here for the 11 rack rt dfu as well so now i would actually suggest that we go ahead and restart again leave your 11 rack on this time and you don't really have to but it's something i like to do so we're going to go ahead and restart one more time again leave your 11 rack powered on okay so go ahead and restart okay so now we've restarted again i know that <laughs> I know that's a lot of restarting, but it's totally worth it for this to work correctly. Pop in here real quick to our driver. You can see hardware is connected. Everything looks fine. So now let's go ahead and launch Pro Tools. And we'll see if we get that error, which I can guarantee you we will not get that error once this launches. Okay, so now Pro Tools has launched. Let's open up a session. We'll just call it Test 11. And we'll create that. Now watch what happens whenever the 11 rack comes up and starts to load. Right there, loading device info 11 rack. You notice it, it did not say 11 rack number one, did not say 11 rack number two. That's because there's only one 11 rack as there should be. So now we'll come up to setup MIDI, MIDI input devices, and voila. Now we just have 11 rack, external, and then nothing else. We do not we do not have duplicated MIDI input devices here just these two that we are supposed to have okay and as you can see we can of course use our 11 rack and we have no problem uh, you know changing rigs things like that bringing up the 11 rack editor there it is okay so that absolutely no problems this is how the driver is you know supposed to work create a track there real quick now i just also just want to mention if you have that problem of 11 rack number two and you just come in here to midi input devices and you untick those uh, that duplicated 11 rack like we did earlier you may end up having a problem with your embedded rig settings so if i just record real quick here i don't even need to play anything 
just record, stop. Right there we have the embedded setting. Okay, so if you have that error with the 11 rack number two, more than likely you're going, you're going to have problems with your embedded rig settings. So that's why I suggest you actually go through all those steps and uninstall everything manually and then reinstall everything using only one USB port and always using that USB port. Or if a new driver comes out, uh, you know, download that driver, but before you install it, completely obliterate the driver that you already have installed. So uninstall it from programs and features, uninstall it from device manager, restart, install the driver, restart, then turn on your 11 rack and then launch Pro Tools, okay? Let's come back to do uh, device manager real quick. Control panel, device manager. We'll come up here to view and show hidden devices. Scroll down here, only have one 11 rack entry un under our universal serial bus controllers. And only have one 11 rack entry here, which is, which is exactly what you want, okay? So that is how you fix the 11 rack number two communication error.